guys, what's up? Welcome to my channel. If you're new, I'm Kelly, this is K Bella Beauty, and I am here with another tag video. I saw Georgia Harris upload a tag video not too long ago called the Makeup Collection Tag, and she is actually the creator of this tag, so I will link her original video and her channel down below. Make sure you go check it out. But I thought, you know what, I've been trying to get some pre-filming going on because I'm about to have a baby. <laughs> my baby is due April 25th. This is probably one of my pre-filmed videos, so I'm not sure when this is going to go up. But I'm nine months pregnant as I'm filming. So I thought a tag video, that's easy to film and to upload and save for when my daughter is here. So it looks like there are 14 questions. I will be running through each question. Hopefully I have answers for you. I have not looked at these questions. I just decided I wanted to film this tag video as well, so why don't we go ahead and jump into it. So the first question is how long have you been collecting makeup? So I have a sister who is seven and a half years older than me. So when I was like eight, she was 15, 16, she was getting into makeup. I would play in her makeup all of the time. But my mom did not let me wear makeup until I got into high school. So I would say high school is the time that I started collecting makeup, but it was like very basic. Like a lot of it was my sister's hand-me-downs. I had like one eyeshadow palette. I had like this Elmay powder foundation that they don't even make anymore. I would do like a little bit of blush bronzer and like a little bit of lip gloss. But I, I started wearing makeup in high school and so I had like a small collection there. I went into college. Again, my collection was still very minimal, just had like the same look that I would wear over and over and over. But I would say the time that I started seriously collecting makeup and getting into makeup more was probably shortly after I got married in 2013. I got married in, in 2013 and I was 25 at the time. And I think that's kind of when I discovered YouTube. I just like fell upon it. I fell upon YouTube beauty videos and started watching YouTube more and that's kind of when my obsession became even more serious, even more real for me. And that's when I started collecting more makeup and my makeup collection expanded and grew even more. And I've been on YouTube now for almost three years. So for the past three years, it's, it's definitely being a YouTube content creator, it has grown even more. But probably I would say mid-20s, back in like 2013 was when I started collecting it more seriously. Number two, what kind of collection do you have? Minimal, utilitarian, aesthetic, historical? You know, I honestly don't know. I would say maybe, <laughs> I would say maybe the minimal. But it's by no means a minimal makeup collection compared to someone who isn't into makeup collections, if you know what I mean. So I would say my collection is minimal because I filmed like an eyeshadow ranking video. I ranked all of my eyeshadow palettes. I can link that here if you want to check that out. And in that video, I said that I only have 11 eyeshadow palettes and people were like, what? You only have 11 eyeshadow palettes? Like, there are people who do Keep 10, Drop 10 series, and they go through 20 palettes and Keep 10, Drop 10, and they have several videos that they do with that. So, in that sense, I have a ton of makeup compared to, like, the average person, but compared to, like, other YouTubers, I would say that my collection is very minimal, and I kind of try to keep it that way. I try to keep it curated where the makeup that's in my collection is makeup that I'm using. And it wasn't always like that, but just as I've gotten a little older, like I want to spend my money on makeup that I really want. And I don't wanna just be wasteful and have makeup sitting around that I'm not using. So question number three, are you a completionist? And when I was watching George's video, she kind of talked about the term completionist and she mentioned that it came from like video gaming and she translated it into makeup. And she said that her idea of someone who is a completionist is someone who likes to get everything in a collection. So for example, getting all of the Urban Decay Naked palettes or getting all of the Tartlet palettes, getting an entire collection. So, no. I am not. I am not a completionist. I don't feel like I need to get every product in a collection. I don't feel like I need to have 
all of the products in one family, whether it be the Tartlet family or the Naked family. I just don't, the chocolate bars, like I don't feel the need to have all of them. I would say that I probably like to have one in each collection, like I did have the Urban Decay, the Naked palette, the original Urban Decay Naked. I ended up decluttering that. I do have a chocolate bar palette and the Gingerbread Spice palette, but I don't feel the need to pick every single one of them up and have an entire family. But that kind of comes with me not necessarily collecting makeup just to collect it, but to actually use it and be more purposeful in my makeup. And there is absolutely nothing wrong with people who are completionists or people who are just collectors of makeup. I definitely was much more of a collector more in my 20s, and this is something now that I'm in my 30s where I'm trying to like narrow it down a little bit, but for some people, this is their hobby. This is what they like. Some people collect baseball cards. Some people collect video games. Some people collect coins. Some people collect makeup. But long story short, no, I do not believe I am a completionist. Number four, how do you store and organize your collection? So I do have a vanity that you can see over here off to the side. There are some drawers in, the, in my vanity in the front of it, and that's where I kind of put my everyday makeup, stuff that I'm reaching for when I'm getting ready for work in the morning and things like that. I also have a little container that sits on top of my vanity, a clear container, where I keep things like my blushes, some pigments, liners, things that I reach for. Occasionally I have my brushes set up over there. But then you can see I have some drawers behind me. So inside the drawers are where I keep like sample sizes uh, or products that I'm not using a ton, like extra products. I put them in there. You can see my eyeshadow palettes behind you. I do have two shelves full of eyeshadow palettes so that I can just grab them and use them. And then what you can't see is behind the camera off here to the side. I will try to insert like a little picture or a clip or something. But I do have my lips products all over there in like little containers, little lipstick holders. And then my lip glosses and liquid lipsticks I have in like an old candle container from Bath and Body Works that I just depotted when I was done burning it. But I don't have an overabundance of makeup. I mean, my makeup collection is pretty small compared to some other makeup collection videos that I've seen here on YouTube. But I like to keep everything kind of handy and where I can reach it. Number five, what is your favorite thing about your collection? I guess I would say that maybe one of the things that I appreciate more so now about my makeup collection is that they are products that I'm actually using and not that are just sitting around being unused. All of the products in my collection are products that I like and that I enjoy. I don't hold on to things if I don't like them. I am will definitely return something. I will take it back. I will pass it on to a friend. So maybe that's the favorite thing about my makeup collection is they're all products that I like and that I enjoy. So yeah, I guess we'll go with that. And then what is your least favorite thing about your collection or something that you would like to improve? Maybe, maybe like my makeup storage. I don't think my makeup storage and my makeup organization is the best. Like, I know where everything is, but, but I don't, I don't know. I just feel like it's kind of basic. So maybe that's one thing I would like to improve. I don't know. These last two questions, my favorite thing and my least favorite thing, those kind of stumped me. Those stumped me a little bit. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. Maybe my least favorite thing is how I store my makeup. Number seven, what is the biggest category of your collection? 100% lip products. I am a lipstick junkie. I did a declutter not even that long ago, I feel like. I feel like I did one like in 2018. I did a lipstick declutter but I just can't help myself. Like I love lipsticks so much. I love liquid lipsticks. A ton of my lipsticks are duplicate colors in my collection. I don't have a huge variety, but that is the product that I have the most of. Number eight, what is the smallest category of your collection? The smallest category, brow products. I guess you could say brow products. I have three brow products. The Anastasia Brow Wiz, the Anastasia Brow Definer, the Anastasia Clear Brow Gel. That's it. 
I was about to say liners, like eyeliners and lip liners. I do not have a lot of liners. But uh, yeah, I only have three brow products, so that's the smallest category. Number nine, do you have a holy grail in your collection? I've talked about holy grail products, but I haven't thought about it too much recently. Is there one product that I would say is holy grail? I guess maybe I would say, this might sound a little silly because it's not like a foundation or an eyeshadow or a blush or a bronzer, but maybe my brow products because brows are something that I do every single day, like unless I'm not wearing makeup at all, but if I'm doing like minimal makeup look or like a work makeup look, an everyday makeup look. Brows are something that I put on every single day because my brows are really tiny and thin and sparse. But um, yeah, I only have three brow products. So I would say that those are my holy grail. I haven't ventured too much out of the ABH because being a natural redhead, it's really hard for me to find a color that matches me. And as you can tell, I mean, these brows are colored in completely and they match my hair color. So the caramel shade by ABH is, that's just, that's my holy grail. 10, do you ever wish your collection was bigger, smaller, or is it complete? Is it complete? No. Do I wish it was bigger? No. Do I wish it was smaller? No. So I feel like my collection is always evolving. If I see a makeup product that I love that I want to add to my collection, I will definitely do that. If I have a makeup product in my collection that I no longer love that I feel like I'm not getting use of, out of, I will get rid of it. But I don't think, especially being on YouTube and being a makeup lover in general, I don't think that there's ever going to be a time where I'm like, okay, my collection is done. I am done purchasing makeup. Could that time come? Sure, but I don't foresee that happening. I don't feel like my collection is complete, but I also don't really have expectations for it. You know, like I don't want it to be huge, but I also don't want to just have one product from each category. Like I really like the size of my collection now. Like I said, they are products that I'm able to use, products that I'm getting good use out of and being able to complete and use up. That is my goal with my makeup collection and I feel really good about it. Number 11, how often do you declutter makeup in your collection? I I don't really, the reason why I don't usually film declutters are because it doesn't usually happen all at one time. What happens is I purchase a new makeup product, I go to add it, whether it's an eyeshadow palette that I'm putting over here or a lipstick or something, I add a new makeup collection and then I see something and I'm like, oh, I'm not really using you too much anymore. And as I find that I'm not using something or if I go to use something and I find that I don't like it anymore, I kind of just get rid of it then, like as I'm using it. Like I'm like, oh, okay, don't love this palette anymore. Let me pass it off to a friend. Tired of this lipstick, haven't used it in a while. Let me pass that off to someone. So I don't typically do declutters where I like sit down and declutter. It just kind of happens naturally. Number 12, do you ever get envious seeing other people's makeup collections? Now, I won't lie. When I see like Desi Perkins, her makeup collection, where she has an entire wall and like her skincare and she was like, oh, these are all my skincare products. People can come and shop my closet. Laura Lee, when she was showing her collection, the big name YouTubers who literally have like a store, okay? Yes, I think that is amazing. I think it would be awesome to have all of those products sent to me and to be able to create a whole store in my house where friends and family could come and try out makeup and I could have tons of makeup. Like, yes, I do love that. But at the same time, then I just kind of think to myself, like, how many products are they actually getting use out of? You know, and I've said, like, now that I'm in my 30s, I'm trying to be more purposeful. But if Sephora and Ulta wanted to send me like all of the free makeup and I could just like have a store in my house, I wouldn't be mad. I would not be mad about that. Number 13, who on YouTube has the best makeup collection video? I don't know. I mean, I don't really, I'm not someone who like seeks out makeup collection videos, but I would just say like, 
probably the mega the mega influencers, the people like Desi Perkins, Laura Lee, Katie, the people who have whole rooms, like those are like dream collections because you have literally absolutely everything. So those are probably the best makeup collection videos. However, I would say they're very unrealistic at the same time. Number 14, the last question, what's some advice you'd give to a future makeup collector? I would say collect makeup that you enjoy, that you like. Don't compare your collection to other people. Don't feel like because someone has 75 eyeshadow palettes that you have to have 75 eyeshadow palettes. If eyeshadow palettes aren't your thing and you love lipsticks or you love blushes, like make your collection about you. Your makeup collections are so personal. Like get makeup products that you like and honestly, I would say don't get something just to have it. Like get makeup that you're excited about that you want to use. Now, every now and then there might be a makeup product where you're like that is so beautiful, the packaging sucked me and I want it specifically for that. If you want it, get it. If you have the means to do so, get it. But don't compare your collection to other people and try to make your collection based off of someone else. You need to get makeup that you like, that you enjoy, that brings you happiness. And that would be my advice. But that is going to wrap up this video. I will leave all of the tag questions down below in case you are interested in filming this tag video as well. Thank you, Georgia, for creating this fun makeup tag collection. I can't wait to watch other people's. And that's going to do it for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.